Hello and welcome back to another guide here on Broadside Gaming with me Zerg. So today we're going to be taking a look at some of the sharpshooters weapons. And uh, today's pick is the Cantrell Mark IV Infantry Last Gun. Uh, this is one of my go-to weapons and uh, throughout this series I will show you the other ones I go for. But this is say the lighter version of in the Cantrell family. So it's it doesn't sh hit as hard as the Mark 12, but it does have an incredibly large ammo pool. So it won't hit quite as hard or one shot as much, but you can actually aim straight, which it seems I can't tonight. Um, it makes up for it in just uh, weight of fire and the speed at which it can fire. Basically, it will fire as fast as you can click. So, and it's incredibly stable and accurate. So if you were going to be picking up a, uh, a LAS gun for the first time, I would suggest the Mark IV because it is very, very forgiving. Now, there's, unlike with like the Zealot melee weapons, there's not loads of crazy things you do with it. It's literally, you aim down sights and you stop blinking away as fast as you can. I will show you though how I set the rifles up. So, for this, uh, it's not the, well, this is the highest one I have with the modifiers on, but it's not a perfect roll. As you can see, it's a 369. Nice. Um, the damage, stability, stopping power, and ammo are all around where I want them to be. With the Mark IV, you can drop down the ammo capacity a bit because it is very forgiving and generous in how much it gives you. So if you wanted to drop the ammo for a slightly more mobility, you know, you can do that. But you want to try and roll the modifiers as close to 80 as you can on damage, stability and stopping power. So for the perks, I've gone with 25% uh, damage to Mannix and I've left the 20% damage to Flak armor on there. Uh, in an ideal world, that would be 25% damage to Flak, but you know, with the crafting system is how it is. That's just what we're going for. And for blessings, also not perfect but it works so we've gone for ghost uh, immune to range attacks for eight sec for 0 0.8 seconds on weak spot hit you should always really be aiming for the head anyway so this will this will, is a huge survivability boost and you want to try and roll this on basically any gun you're going for unless you're going for a very specific build on some of the recon rifles and falter uh 50 target stagger on weak spot hit so they go quite nicely together because you're going to be aiming for the face anyway so uh it's it's good being able to stagger very heavy enemies with such a light rifle and it does do quite a lot of damage i mean you won't be popping a, a crusher too well but i mean if you're up against the crusher you probably want to be getting out the power sword or a melee weapon just to Try and hack through it or leave it to someone else. So yeah, Kentrell Mark IV is uh, one of my top picks for the sharpshooter. It is my go-to rifle most of the time. And uh, as you know, this is all on minion difficulty. So everything you're seeing here is on highest difficulty and highest sort of damage resistance, as they say. But yeah, it's a good rifle. Um, if you haven't tried it, Please do give it a good, give it a look. Very easy to use, very forgiving. So if you haven't tried out a last gun at this point, because you've been trying more of the auto guns, definitely go for one of these. Well, I hope this helped, folks, and uh, I should catch you off the next one, which will be looking at some more sharpshooter weapons. So until then, take it easy and see you later.